welcome back to a new vlog. I'm really excited to be shooting a vlog, like a proper vlog, like we haven't done that in so long. Um, we had a really lovely start into the day today. This morning we went to a coffee shop to get some work done and it was very lovely. And then we just like did some errands, got some groceries and went to a charity shop, which I bought, I'm gonna show you later because I can't show you here. Uh, but I bought one thing and Ross as well and it's actually really cool here the charity shop that we went to actually um, donates money to um, I think for children who grow up in like in poverty or in the area so I think that's really cool I also got nail polish because I didn't bring any with me and I really missed it so I went somewhere and got some nail polish and I did my nails and I'm actually, I tried to do this like art thing and I'm actually really happy with the result. I think it came out really cool and I never do this type of stuff but lately I've been feeling a little creative and crazy so yeah, that was fun. And uh, yeah, now we're gonna go to the park with Ross for a little bit. Just packing a little bag. I'm just gonna use this tote bag um, to go. I'm bringing this yoga mat. This is a travel mat by Livia. Um, this is the one I travel with and came here with. I wanted to have a mat so that I could practice yoga at home and I didn't want to bring one of the big ones I have back home. So it actually is perfect. It's still like relatively heavy, but it's way lighter and takes way less space. And it's really co cool that you can like fold it. So I'm taking that. Sunglasses, these are the ones I shared a little bit ago uh, from Colorful Standard, which I love. For those of you who missed that video, here they are. They're the only sunglasses I brought with me. I'm gonna bring a scrunchie and maybe a little bit of water. And these are the shorts that I got today at the charity shop. I tried on a few dresses and unfortunately none of them really suited me. They were all a little too big or yeah, the cut was just a little bit off on my body. Unfortunately, uh, I would have been really down for a dress because the nice days are coming here. It's actually getting into spring. But I got this pair of shorts. I think it was in the man section. Uh, so <laughs> Ross has been stealing them from me already and we said that we'd just share them but I love the pastel blue color and they're like very lightweight um, they're like some kind of like active wear I guess um, but they don't look shiny or anything so they're really nice and I like to wear them tucked in a white tee or I just put the jumper on because it's a bit cold today sometimes I just Fold it here if I want it a little bit more tight to around the waist. But yeah, they're very soft and like, I feel like I have nothing on, which is really nice. And these are totally the type of short that I could wear like day to day, but also like on a hike. So yeah, and I got them for like two bucks. Yeah, it was really nice to go to um, a charity shop again because I hadn't been to one in forever and I haven't done any shopping at all in months if not years because I would receive clothes through work at home and yeah I don't know I just didn't continue uh, thrift shopping and secondhand shopping but I went today and it was really fun even if it was a very small trip and adventure are you ready to go What's up? You ready to go? Yeah. Okay, we're going out. They're very unusual looking. There's some ducks at the park. Maybe these are not ducks, I don't know. But they look like. So, we're gonna go do our practice. Well, Ross is gonna do a 30 minute practice. I think I'm gonna do 10 or 15 minutes of Qigong and maybe a little bit of yoga. 
I also brought my book, so I think I'm gonna read my book. And now the sun came out! Woo! I'm reading my book. I'm reading this book called The Celestine Prophecy in English by James Redfield. Um, I'm not sure yet what I think about it, although I'm coming to the last chapter of it. <gasps> we are having dinner. We came back from the park. Some brown rice with this pumpkin red coconut curry. Um, there's also some cauliflower and broccoli stem. I use them in stews and curries instead of wasting them. And some avocado. Hello. Um, we had dinner. I had a little cry session after dinner. I guess that through well, I guess I know that through the healing process I'm going through right now, there's a lot of memories and things that come up and get like brought to the surface. And um, usually memories that you have suppressed. Um, and there's one that made me really sad. And that was basically the memory of the time, remembering the few times in my life where I saw my mom sad and crying which wasn't many, and also having um, some memories and emotions coming up regarding a relative, um, my aunt actually, uh, my mom's sister that passed away when she was really young and I was I think about five years old when she passed. And um, yeah, I felt a lot of sadness thinking about it again and even if I couldn't comprehend it at the time I guess you can sense things as kids so yeah I guess I was never really able to process through this like life uh, challenge I guess and also one thing that I didn't mention in last video is that ever since I started the process and even more now with the fragmentation process it is that I have a lot more vivid dreams. Like I, I wake up every morning remembering my dreams. And so I've taken the habit to write them down or write the meaning to me down in my journal because I wanna keep trace of it and I wanna understand if there's any meaning behind it. And a lot of the time recently, it, it's been really clear what the meaning was. Um, and there was many different ones. I've taken the habit to write it down and check for symbols, if there's any like symbolism and things um, from it. So that's been like a big part of my routine. And actually, this video is in collaboration with this pen. Well, not this pen, but Cajon Dash, which is uh, the brand from this pen and you've probably heard about them. These are Swiss made pens and it's a company that Switzerland is known for and I was so excited to be working with them on this video and on this project with them because I don't often work with local companies um, in Switzerland and I thought that was such an awesome and exciting opportunity especially also because I journal I bullet journal like I use my pen a lot and um, these pens are actually really cool because you can basically you just you can buy one and then you have it forever because you can refill this one specifically is from the customizable collection which basically allows you on the website to customize your own pen and this is a really great gift idea as well because you can engrave something on the pen and I engraved my name on it and then you can choose like how thick you want the pen to be and what color I got the fine black one 
and it comes with a sleeve for it so for when you travel it's fully safe i feel so official with a pen like this so yeah for me in this time that i've been going through a lot and you know that i need to let it all out and writing down onto paper this has been my daily friend <laughs> that i meet every day like this journaling has really been part of my practice for a while and i I'm benefiting so much from it and if you don't have a journaling practice yet I really encourage you to do it because it clears up your mind about so many things that usually get just like get stuck and so, yeah whenever I have a lot going on in my head I try to write it down and put it onto paper and yeah that's why I've been going around with my journal and this pen every single day and I always have them on hand I also have some like smaller ones too when I can't carry the big one. This has been lifesaver when I need to write down my dreams, whatever I'm going through, like thoughts, feelings, emotions. And and this is really a pen that I'm gonna keep for a long time, I believe, because it's really easy to refill it. So it's super sustainable as opposed to always constantly getting new pens. This is um, also metal, so it's not uh, like a plastic pen so when you dispose of it it's actually way more easily recyclable than plastic so i'll put all the informations to the karen dash um collection down below and the customizable uh, collection if you want to get one for yourself or for somebody and i'm also going to share if it's out yet um an article that i worked with karen dash uh, for their website um so yeah if that's ready i'll put the link down below if not i'll add it later on whenever it's published but they offered me to be part of their blog website um that in the inspiration section and i could so i could share something about it um in there so yeah thank you so much to them for so thank you so much to Karen Dash uh, for working with me on this project and this video and now I'm gonna I'm like getting started in my evening routine so journaling is something that I'll do in the morning in the evening at random times during the day if I need to write down something um, but usually I like either in the morning when I just woke up and remember my dream or, or also in the evening if anything like it I want to write down from the day or didn't take the time to do it in the morning so that's what I'm gonna do now and then I have my tarot card and I actually just picked one which I haven't um, analyzed yet so I'm gonna do that now how I do the tarot card um, I don't know if that's the correct way to do it I'm very new to it I don't really know much about it if you guys are like advanced in tarot cards <laughs> let me know and give me your tips but basically how i've been doing it is that i pull out a card and i try to interpret it for myself this one is about growth and uh, there's like an old and and there's a baby hand and for me like that's about the generational trauma that's passed through and also the old needs to be transcended in order for the new to come and and there's a lot of trees um and then a light so the trees for me to represent like the growth and the the resilience through experiences and the light is like the the spark of or like the enlightenment or the um, yeah the spiritual awakening that one goes as they grow so let's see what it says in this book because who knows okay growth like the tree moving towards the light grow yourself as you expand and extend yourself into the light the tree as a wand symbolizes symbolizes your growth in consciousness and unfoldment just as the tree grows downward discover your roots going deep into the dark subconscious and past and into the earth primordial collective unconscious mm, interesting 
The thickening and branching of the tree symbolizes the expanding your worldly life and your understanding of your everyday fortunes. The tree also grows upward, representing your spiritual development and your attainment of higher consciousness and knowledge of the future. Through growth, you flower like the rose, shine like the star, and tower like the redwood. It's time to move up, break out, and branch out. Ooh, I really love that one. And I think, like, it's the first time that, like, I have um, an analysis of the card that is somewhat similar to what is said in the book. Usually it's, like, it makes me so happy because, honestly, the past few weeks have been really difficult. And, I, like, while I was in it, it felt like I was, it was never going to end. I felt like I was going to be stuck in that shitty place for who knows how long. And, like, I didn't want to have any expectations and I wanted to be fully accepting of where I was and how I was feeling. I'm going to finish this book. I have just a little bit left. And then um, Ross has a call right now, but when he's done, I think we're going to watch an episode or a couple episodes of New Girl. This has been the series we've been watching lately. I honestly, like, I didn't have the mental capacity for anything, pretty much. And so I thought, what else of, like, a, than a light, fun show to watch just to distract myself a little bit, entertain, like, have a good laugh and don't focus so much on, like, the heavy shit all the time. <laughs> so that has been um, part of our evenings usually um we love watching new girl in the evening and i have my tea i have a candle now i'm gonna read a bit